Welcome back to the ABC of EDC with me, Rick Flat, your host through everything Everyday Carry. Quick short little video today, hopefully informative and helpful. But before we do that, if you're watching on YouTube, please take a moment, just press like, subscribe, select the little bell icon and go to all. That way you'll get all the content we put up. And why not leave a comment on this video, some of the other videos, it's good. Some of you have left comments. I found it really enjoyable, a little bit of feedback. When we did the uh, last time, uh, well, one of the times I talked about that, that review of that Baltic, it was good to have a bit of back and forth with some of you. So yeah, love some more of that. So quick one today. I wanna to talk to you about attempting to have one watch for many occasions. And I'm gonna suggest that we do this, not by buying a watch that on its own just is good across the board, because I think that's very hard. My watch collection has gone from having about, I fluctuate from having about six or seven watches up to like 20 plus, I think I had 25 watches at one point. And not expensive watches. I'm not that guy, okay? I, 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 I for 15 years or so before I did what I'm doing now, I worked in a charity sector. So, you know, money was different. I got I got like a family, I got two girls, I got a dog. Things are expensive, man. Man can't be going out and buying like crazy watches. So my watches exist in the kind of 50 to 150 pound max kind of limit. Sometimes I get watches in the south, so those 150 pound watches are really kind of 200 pound watches. But I'm not a big expensive watch guy. I would love to be. I have massive appreciation of great timepieces. And we'll have them on the channel. I've got a, a Rolex Daytona. Uh, review coming up. I've got a JLC Master Control calendar coming up. We've got Tudors and Amigas and all sorts coming up, right? But they're not mine. <laughs> They'll be like borrowed in. They're like my rich friends, or my friends that are doing well better than me. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of lend those in. But I want to talk to you about this watch actually that I've got on here. This watch is when I started getting it, I've always back, 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 back up, back up. I've always liked having a watch on my wrist. But I used to just buy any watch in the sense of I'd look and in some ways this is what you should always do. I would just look and go, I like that watch. But I wouldn't think about what powered the watch. Was it a quartz? Uh, you know, was it a digital watch or an analog watch? Was it a mechanical watch, like an automatic or manual wind? If you hopefully you know what these terms are. If not, you'll learn. Stick with us, you'll learn. I never thought about that. I just thought I liked the look of it. And I didn't care uh, uh, what company it was and, and what heritage they had. Just, I'd buy it. But a while back, and it's probably, probably, a, it's got to be getting on for like a decade now. Maybe like, maybe like seven years, seven, eight years, maybe a decade. I, don't, I lose track of time. Terrible. I did a lot of drugs when I was younger and my brain don't function properly. Anyway, I bought this watch. Now this watch is, it is not, again, not a super expensive watch. A hundred or so pounds, I think it was. Um, this is a Seiko 5, a Seiko 5. Now they made millions of these and they still do. They're a little bit worse today, but these old, older ones are really cool. Um, I'll put an infogra infographic, what the, f am, I f am I from the freaking, am I from 1947? Well, check out the infographic, children. I got it off the intro when I have the weather. Good Lord. Check out this image, man. This will show you all the Seikos. There's so many models and they sold them for decades. So this is a common watch, if you like. So I bought this watch, but the reason I bought this watch is because I like the look of it, but also because it is an automatic watch. It's mechanical. It's not run on a battery. It's not run by sunlight. That it's not um, a digital watch. It is run by the mechanics of the watch, springs and cogs and the movement of your body. There's a thing called a rotor in the back. You'll see this as we go along, we have some macros. Um, and, and it's the movement of your body that, that tightens the spring that then actually runs the watch. And I love that, I love that idea. So I bought this, it's got, um, let me just take it off the NATO. It's very simple, you just, there you go. Uh, it's got a, it's got an open case back, so you can't see it from there, but put, like I say, I'll put some macros in. Open case back, so you can see that rotor swing, you can see different things happening. And, you know, I didn't know a lot about it, I just knew it was cool. Like having a little machine on my wrist. This came on a bracelet, but it didn't stay on it very long, because I like to start to switch it out. And what I did was slowly over time, I started putting it on things like it was just on a moment ago, a NATO, like this. And it ended up, getting that and I'll, I'll get another one and then I bought like another one and then I thought to myself I I'll, I'll want like a, a leather one so I bought a leather one and then I thought I want to buy like a green one and and all of a sudden before you know it I've got all these man 
look i got like all these bracelets that 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 i'm that i'm now these are my options you know what i mean so one watch numerous looks but then as well as these fabric natos i got different straps like these so that yeah, what's what we've got here like 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 leather brown leather red leather like an orange racing leather another brown one uh, different kind of class and stuff so i ended up with all of this stuff one watch but all of this gear so essentially one watch but numerous numerous looks i don't know if you've ever seen that kind of thing on instagram where a guy says look if you want to style yourself as a man you need to go out you need to buy a gray suit you need to buy like three suits a gray suit a black suit and a blue suit and you need to buy like three shirts and three pairs of trousers and then they show you all the different combinations of this top with this shirt with this blade you just go on and it says like, there's a million combinations it's the same with your watch this is what we're talking about here we're saying we've got the same watch head this thing the head the where the action is but then you, you add different looks to it so you have a, a brown strap one day and then the next day you, you have a rubberized strap on there you know what i mean then the next day you have a crocodile strap or you have a different sort of uh, um core like corduroy kind of fabricy strap you know like a jean style strap or whatever suede strap one watch to rule them all I can recommend this. It's a really good way, especially nowadays when things are tight, to get a nice looking watch. And I love that you people people can hate on different things. I love the look of this little Seiko 5. Just it's just it's like I think it's 42 mil, but it wears really small. 22 mil lugs. It's really not very thick. Um, just looks nice. Black dial, military style, field watch look, 12 the, the the sort of 12 hour, 12 hour markers and then 24 hour markers inside. A little day and date window that's that's kind of surrounded by a little bit of white, um, a white window. I just love the look of this thing. And it's really adaptable. You can wear this thing, dress it up with a bracelet and wear it with a suit. It's it's it's, it's thin enough to get under your cuff. You can um, rough it up with a nice kind of like rubberized or a thick NATO and, and wear it to do the garden or do some laboring or whatever. It's waterproof. It can take a licking and keep on ticking. This is the kind of watch you want to get, but it could be any watch. You could choose your own watch. Your watch could be a Seiko, it could be a Timex, it could be a Casio, it could be an Omega, it could be a Roly, it could be whatever you want, okay? But the idea is that you give yourself numerous options with the same watch. And this is the thing, 100 or so quid, but you can probably get this on eBay now for 50 quid or something, who knows, it was a long time ago. But then you spend, I mean, what's this? That's about five, uh, five pounds, it's about 12 pounds. Do you know what I mean, that one? I think this one was about 12 pounds. Uh, this one's from Bark and Jack, another YouTuber, great guy. Uh, this, I think it was 20 odd, do you know what I mean? Or some, somewhere up there. Um, then you've got like, different kind of this one here like strap it's got like a butterfly they call it a butterfly clasp that's maybe a little bit more expensive like 20 pounds 22 pounds or something jump on amazon you can find all these so you've got an initial outlay of a watch but then you've got numerous options for very cheap that's what you want and if you're careful and you choose right people who know you even see the watch often will see different looks and will appreciate it and those who don't will just think man you've got you've got a great watch there and you could have a million different looks now other things you're going to need you're going to need a spring bar tool because when you come to put the bracelet on you're going to need to have to take these little spring bars off here so you're going to need a spring bar tool to do that well and not all spring bars are created equal so you'll need some spares i've got a little box here i don't know like 300 little uh, spring bars going from like 8 mil up to like 25 mil you'll need that so that you've got options but that's it you can do this one watch to rule them all let me know in the comments if this is helpful what watch have you got that is your watch to rule them all what have you have you watched this and now you decided you know i've got a watch rick and i'm getting a bit bored i'm going to go and buy a different color strap i'm going to go and try a nato strap i'm going to try numerous options let me know man i hope this has been helpful go and do it it's fun to dress things up and mess around um, and i know as a man we often don't get a chance to dress around too much but a watch and watches that we wear can be something where we can really kind of show a little bit of flair and of what we like and uh, what represents us. Bless you guys. Thanks for watching. I've been Rick Flats. This has been the ABC of EDC. Quick one, like I said, man, we out. Later. Have a good week, yeah? See you.